Topic, I was kind of wanting to backtrack a little to last week's video. I noticed some of y'all were uh, leaving comments about how you couldn't hear over the raindrops. I apologize for that. Um, these headphones I use when I'm editing all this, these videos and stuff can play tricks on you. I mean, they're like, they can make, take the worst of <laughs> sound and music and make it sound extraordinary. Uh, so they'll, they'll trick you. So I apologize for that. Um, little recap of what I did last week. The main message I was wanting to get across to y'all was, um, if you start noticing that I'm just recording in a room with, you know, the walls at the background is because, uh, my, my woman of nine years recently left me about a week and a half ago. And, uh, she kind of put me in a bind with paying bills and whatnot. And, you know, I've got, got health issues, you know, I'm like untreated diabetes. Can't, I don't have insurance and so I can't go to the doctor and take medicine for it. So I have to watch out I eat, et cetera, et cetera. But that's only one of my health issues, but fact is that I've been unable to work like I used to. I've uh, been in carpentry for 30 years and so she was working too but you know without getting into all that bottom line is she left and kind of put me in a bind and you know I'm having to come up with a thousand dollars to pay the bills in just under two weeks time so some of my equipment I've got to put up for sale and uh, green screen is one of them. Um, I may have to sell my drone. I mean, I hate to because that thing is going to come in real handy when it comes time to do field work. Um, so that's the main thing I was trying to get across to y'all. I didn't want you to think that I'm, you know, backsliding if my videos start, you know, getting where I don't put much effort into them. It's just, I had to sell stuff. Because I, I normally like to, you know, make every video I do even better than the last one. So, me, yeah, I might take a couple steps back, then go forward again. But, uh, anyway, all right. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to try something different. You know, try to, change things up with this dogman channel i know some of y'all's comments which by the way to all my new subscribers that come in within the last two weeks thank y'all for subbing y'all have made my channel explode you don't know how happy this makes me um but what what i was thinking was you know, some of y'all left some pretty good comments over the past couple of videos. And I'd like, I think I'd like to reiterate on, on some of them, you know, like, um, what I'm going to do is down in the description, I'm going to leave y'all a separate email because my dog man email right now is getting hammered. So it's hard to go through all of them, you know, um, if you are interested, you know, if you're one of the ones that made comments about things related to the dog, man, 
if you're interested, I'm going to drop another email down in the description. Email me at that one, not Dogman, but the other one, which would be John's Terrell. Um, and, and let me know if you would be interested in, in maybe me calling you and you giving your input on, on, on this topic or, you know, you can, um, give me something maybe you experienced that we can we can tell that to ever give that to everybody i want to get y'all involved and i also want y'all to tell me what you would like to see come out of this channel what, what which direction would you like to see this channel go i you know i will say that i kind of you know i, I don't want to be like every other dog you know dog man channel you know I've noticed a lot of them out there, and I'm not knocking them because these 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 people have good stories on their on their uh, channel. You know, good people coming forward and telling some pretty hair raising stories. So I'm not knocking that, but I try to keep it visual is, is my intention. Um, you know, even if it's at the moment, it's not actuality like me sitting by a burning fire in the woods you know a lot of this stuff i'm shooting i'm sh shooting here in the studio um but you know tell me what y'all which direction y'all want me to go what's some of the things you would like to see come to this channel i'd like to remind you that i am going to be going out in the field soon i i can't tell you how soon it's just when things settle back down and I get back on my feet from this whole uh, split between her and myself. Um, but I will be going out in the field and, you know, doing some day video shooting. Going to be there at night. Going to break out the FLIR and the heat camera and all this good stuff and see if we can find, you know, see if we can get our eyes on something. Who knows? Um, I do know um have y'all I wanted to ask you have you have any of y'all um read into the uh book of Enoch any the lost book of Enoch it's out there floating around on YouTube but if you listen to it 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 says how Enoch found several what we call what we would call portals um something to think about um one of the things one of my one of your subscribers put which i thought you know is a good is a good point to raise is how um dog men and were werewolves are two different things you know man transferred in and i'm not sure you know who who knows who's to say how it actually got started you know um but to me an animal that's already that animal you know not he doesn't go through no you know metamorphosis stage sounds more logical uh um so i have to agree with you on that subscriber um it it sounds more logical uh you know and who knows? I mean, you know how things in, in history, as they move, um, you know, things get changed up through the course of the years. And, you know, now we've got uh, shapeshifting werewolves or whatever. So it's more logical, actually, to believe that this is a species of animal that's so, you know, it's <laughs> so elusive and so cunning that you can't figure it out. I mean... We're at now. I, I am somewhat of an animal professional. I've worked with them. I'm a herpetologist, so I'm fully aware of you know of finding species of animals that has not been documented yet. Um, that's out there. You know, they're they're finding them almost every day. You know, jungles of Amazon of the Amazon, or you know, in the deep dark, or deepest depths of the mountainous country you know the ocean they're finding 
you know, new species of animals. So, yeah, you know, Bigfoot, he would come to me and kind of fall under the same thing, you know. Um, an animal that's, that's been here that's just so elusive, we can't get a, we can't get an idea on it. So, you know, and I will go back to the Bible a little bit on that and, talk, and discuss that, you know, I find it very interesting that in two different places in the Old Testament, you know, I, I believe I've said this before, that, you know, God cursed uh, Cain for slew and Abel. Well, how did he curse him? It, it says he put a mark on him. And what was the mark? You know, you know, kind of one of your brain kind of wants to gear you towards maybe some kind of tattoo or something. But what was the mark exactly? Because it said that no man will be able to kill you and, and you will go to a place of refuge, you know, and think about it. I mean, it's some, it's, if you, if you think about it, it doesn't really sound so far fetched, you know, um, you know, marked, you know, marked as a beast, forced to live away from man. No man can kill you when you don't live near him. I mean, then you got the, the part in there, you know, um, Jacob and Esau, you know, being there, you know, Esau was a hairy man, as the Bible said. And, you know, back then, you know, you would think that back then, a hairy, a hairy man was normal. Full head of hair, beards, chest, back, whatever, legs, you know, that's normal, right? So it, it kind of, it kind of, you know, when I stop and think about it, I'm like, well, why does it really describe a hairy man and not just a normal man? You know, just how much hair did he have? Because it don't go in depth like that. But see, that's something else to think about. But then, like I said, also the Lost Book of Enoch kind of ties in some of that stuff. And, and it's, it's, it's quite interesting. I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's quite interesting, but you know, that the Bible and I'm a, I'm a huge reader of it. You know, I don't, I don't read it anymore like I used to, we'll say, but, um, the Bible doesn't, you know, it, it gives us pointers on what it was, but on, some, on most of it, it does not go too in depth, you know? So, um, Anyways, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. It's what this, you know, this video is about. It's trying to reiterate what some of what I said last week and then find out where you, which way y'all want the channel to go, whatnot. Um, yeah, hey, if y'all can help, that would, that, you know, I've got a donation button down here that would be greatly appreciated. If not, it's, it's no biggie. I hate even having to ask, but I, Honestly, I don't want to have to stumble backwards with this channel. I, I, I mean, if anything, I would like to move forward even harder than what I'm doing. Um, so I, I definitely don't want to have to sell anything just to make my ends meet. So, you know, but hey, that's, that's totally up to you. But, but y'all drop me a comment. Uh, and that new email, Josh Terrell down there. If y'all be interested in giving uh, me a story or, or, or reiterate with me, reiterating with me on what, you know, some points you, you thought of thinking about, please email me. I'm going to need to have some good content going before uh, my first, um, you know, field work begins. So um, with all that being said, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you on the trail.